starting in the inner circle. Remember, you make a point, you back it up with data, and then if you, have, if you need to, you can ask clarifying questions. Once you have spoken, somebody can tag you out. Why is there three from the good intention plan? That's all right. Because if you know it switches up. You you're right. It's sometimes it'll be four, sometimes it will be it'll be all five. Right. It'll change. Okay. 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 All right. Um, I do expect everybody to participate today. So you will all tag in at some point in time. Ready? So, I'm going to start the conversation, which means you guys are not talking, only, they are, only the inner circle is talking. So, antibiotics were discovered in 1928 by Sir Alexander Fleming. Since that time, people have believed that antibiotics are good or antibiotics are bad. How do you feel about antibiotics? Good one. Okay, I don't think antibiotics are good because I feel that doctors and are pressured by like patients and other people like to prescribe things and I feel like it's over prescribed. I found that um, 36% of patients in 1999 were given antibiotics, antibiotics and then in 2011 it was 100% and I found that antibiotics were more common. And I don't understand like, what is the difference between 1999 and 2011 that it jumped up that much because like once you think that it would go down because of how much more knowledge that we've gained and research and stuff that we found. Um, I don't I think if you're a patient, maybe you shouldn't take everything like maybe you should uh Yes, that's what she's saying, okay? 
I'm just saying, so it sounds... It's all right. It's all right. No, I'm just saying, it's right. so it sounds like it's working. That, that rate shouldn't be lower. I don't think it's all right. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah. So in 2013, there are about 480,000 new cases of multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. Uh, which good one does it kill? Does it, do they like regenerate quickly? I don't, I don't no. know to say good. Like good ones. There's bad ones and good ones. But do they never come back? Or no, do they, they do. They can. That's what she just said. They regenerate. Okay, so when it comes to like the good and bad bacteria, on this one, sorry. If we, we could bring this back to the beginning, like even before antibiotics, six per, or your point, six percent chance you had of women giving birth. You had a 0.6 chance of surviving without a host um, antibacterial like antibiotics. That, that uh, bronze stuff they, they rub on your skin. <laughs> that's uh, that's in ninety percent of kids before antibiotics have a more likely chance of dying from very serious diseases like tuberculosis. Those are serious threats. Yes, very serious threats. I have something to add okay. with the like span thing. Uh, the what, average lifespan now is eighty years, and when it used to be only fifty years old.
most likely it won't happen. I'm sorry, I don't have a percentage for that one. But I don't have a percentage for that claim. But it's most likely to not happen if you take the antibiotics. But necessary it, it, for it. Okay. Okay. saying something um, before about how, like, something about something like how it's so minor, like, for taking in a while, like, if you think about it, like, if you go to the doctor, a lot of times you go to the doctor because you have common cold or something like that, and you're prescribed antibiotic. So, like, I feel like if we would let our body try to fight it off, it would make it ten times better than taking an antibiotic just for ten days or however long you take it for, just to try to cure that little minor cough or, like, the cold or something like that. See, but that's also not always the case. For a while, when I was younger, my mom just thought I was coming down from the cold when I really had a very, very severe ear infection, a completely different thing. And I had to take antibiotics for that ever since then, which also helped with me healing. Where would we be without it? Yes. Because uh, since antibiotics, like before the vaccinated or like antibiotic era, uh, since then, 83 to 100 percent, uh, like of deaths have lowered. I personally think that, like as a community, our bodies would be stronger, and that we would be able to fight off more sicknesses because the people who would want to be able to withstand the treat the sicknesses or the diseases would die off, and so leaving the knowledge have like we grown and how much things have we because of antibiotics there has been less death like uh they have infected a lot of people since like before antibiotics were used how they are um for example um the measles they used there was like a report of 5,217 reports and now since antibiotics there's only been 61 reports and that's a 99% difference because of the antibiotics. Perhaps antibiotics have saved lives, but since antibiotics uh, overuse, we have been seeing um, growth in many diseases, partially just because it is attacking our immune system. Um, approximately 80% of the immune system is located in the digestive system's blood, <clears throat> and therefore when the antibiotics are consumed, uh, that suffer greatly because it kills with the good and the bad bacteria. Um, normally in your digestive tract, um, there's 85% good bacteria, 15% bad bacteria. There's a chemical balance that must be maintained to watch to keep your immune system healthy. And antibiotics completely mess it up for isolating. It, it, it takes at least six months for it to completely recover, and some studies say that it never will completely recover after antibiotic use. Um, and the U.S. National Library of Medicine and the National Institute of Health have conducted studies that shows that diabiosis, which is um, the disbalance of the good and bad bacteria, can be linked to an increase in conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, leaky gut syndrome, which is about what it sounds like, 
Um, type 1 diabetes, obesity, asthma, and allergies. And that was in 2014. And we also like use antibiotics to help us like, get better, but we also like don't, if we're um, prescribed antibiotics and we're, up, like, we're supposed to take them for 10 days, usually once you start feeling better, you stop taking the antibiotics. So you don't let your body like get the whole 10 days in that you're supposed to. And what is that like you're doing? Like, yeah, it makes you feel better now, but you're not in the full ability that you should be in. And also, like, once you're done taking that, what do you do with that? Can you just throw it in the garbage? And where does that go that it doesn't just, like, affect us? It also affects, like, our water. And how many people did you say? Are you just saying, like, normally people? Like, you have, like, statistics on this? No, I'm just normally. said um, if you have too many antibiotics in your system, you are more susceptible to uh, getting cancer at an older age. And um, also, if you look at the statistics about um, painkillers in the last 10 years, there's been more um, overdoses and people dying with painkillers in the last 10 years. Before, I mean, before then, there was nothing like that. This but is, now, this is overdoses. This yeah, is not with painkillers. Intentional or accidental? Intentional. That's suicide. Oh, wait, 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 if you don't finish it, that means that it's a lot easier for the bacteria, which the antibiotic is targeting, to develop a resistance. And what's interesting about a lot of bacteria is that they don't actually need um, to come in contact with like an antibacterial um, agent and then be able to fight it off. They can actually, bacteria can exchange genetic information, which allows bacteria have never even met an antibacteria to become resistant to antibacteria. That was slightly confusing. But um, the point is um, that could result in a lot of other bacteria becoming resistant without even having to touch the antibiotic. Antibiotics are successful if you use them within like the recommendations of the doctor or like the specific time period that she said. So if we are taking these antibiotics, we should definitely do it how the doctor says, 